That was abrupt. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, Jojo. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, I haven't played it before, so. <laughs> and Darkness, hello. And Baka, and Elle, and Raylene, and Tamsi, hello, hello. Hello. I hope everyone's, um, fuck, what day is it? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday is going well. Yeah, sorry, I kind of went M M I. <laughs> when did I say? I said I'd stream on the weekend, and then I and then I never did, and I couldn't even like tell you what went on on the weekend either. I was just lazy, <laughs> lazy, and then work busy, and then yeah, like oh my goodness, yesterday I was like trying to have a freaking nap, and my dad just like. Oh, just kept waking me up like I'm like I'm gonna have a nap and then he was like making dinner which I didn't even think he was gonna make dinner because I asked him the previous night if he was gonna make dinner and he scoffed at me and I was like okay it's your vacation like I guess you're not making dinner any of the days it's totally fine so yesterday I was like okay I'm gonna go have a nap I didn't tell him though so I just went to nap and then he's like making freaking pork tenderloin so you, you know you gotta like beat the meat right <laughs> like with the with the hammer so like literally an hour of him just doing that and i was like what the fuck how much like like oh my goodness and then when he came down to like i guess wake me up or like tell me dinner was ready i don't think he even thought that i could be napping because he fucking like banged on the door and like i almost had a freaking heart attack and then and then i went upstairs ate dinner and he was talking about like this um my dad's so precious he's not very like technical technologically literate so like when he like finds a youtube video and stuff he gets like so excited but um we go watch like we go to the movie theater to watch and just like watch movies so he was like oh i, w I found this video that was like like eight trailers of movies coming out for this like for this year and he's like i want to show you so i was like okay um so i went back down to have another nap and again comes banging on the door like he's like what he's like are you asleep he's like i have the video to show you and i was like yeah i'll come up later and watch it so i was just like oh my goodness i cannot get a nap like what the heck just trying to chill out here and <laughs> tamsy what did i unmute to oh my dad was making a uh, pork tenderloin last night so you know you gotta like take the little hammer that has the little spikes on it and like beat it up you know <laughs> But yeah, he scoffed at me and then goes and makes dinner the next day. Like, what the heck? Crazy. But yeah, I've just been like hella lazy. Um, I do plan on streaming today and tomorrow, though, to like make up for it. But today will be, yeah, this game called Honkai Star Rail. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you here have heard it. <laughs> it's uh, from the same creators that did uh, Genshin Impact. But to my knowledge, or at least my friends... Um, like, I have a few that play it. They told me that the story is better than Genshin Impact. Because I did play Genshin Impact, but Genshin Impact, like, never, I don't know, kind of, like, captivated me. Like, the story wasn't, like, that great in my opinion. And, like, I don't know, it just felt, like, slow to start off. But my friends tell me otherwise for Honkai Star Rail. They're like, yeah, the story's, like, more engaging. Um, and, like, I love lore, so. And they're like, like, it's less open-worldy. Um, <laughs> shut up. Sorry, peek there. Sorry, Khan. That was Khan in the chat is one of them that recommended it. I was in his uh, chilling in his stream the other day. Um, I want to give a shout out to how do I do this? Shout out Ra Khan. He plays games too. Um, but he was showing me the other day. That's also where I was. I was watching his stream the other day. I was watching him play, and he was showing me uh the game and like uh um. Like, just, like, how it looks and stuff. And obviously, it looks beautiful. And also, I'm, like, in the mood for, like, another gotcha. Oh, that's the other thing. Like, my friend told me that, like, it's very, like, forgiving. Like, you're able... Like, he, like he's been basically able to pull every person, every banner he's ever tried to pull on. And, like, I'm trying to go through, like, my games. And, like, I have a few of them that just felt like a chore lately. Like, Disney Dreamlight Valley, I uninstalled off my PC because... I don't know, there's just like not too much to that game at the moment. Like I would go in, pick some dream light fruit and then log out. Like I don't really care for the decorating of Disney at the moment and like, I don't know, the, yeah, the, there's not really like a store, like the story I've done. Yeah, anyways, I'm like, this game kind of sucks. I'm just going to like get all the achievements in the game and then uninstall it. So I finally got my last achievement in Disney today, which was, um, what is it? Like 
cleansing like 3,000 night thorns, so Jesus Christ, that was a lot. But <laughs> I did it, I uninstalled it, and there was also another gotcha game I was playing called Reverse 1999, but like literally, like that game looks cool, and I love the turn-based, like using cards and stuff, like I, I really like that, but the story is just like absolutely atrocious. The translation, absolutely atrocious. Like the recent chapter that came out, I literally had no idea what the fuck I was reading. Like I was like, I was reading it, but my brain was like not computing, like what the fuck was going on in the story. It was fucking crazy. Um, hi kids. Also, hey Khan. <laughs> um, yeah, more forgiving. So yeah, I wanted to try playing it because yeah, I just literally uninstalled like every game off my computer that I don't really play. So that just leaves me with like my Final Fantasy like 14 dailies until, you know, the expansion comes out in the summer. Excited for that, excited for that. And then Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Those are like the two games I play right now. Um, playing Minecraft at the moment with kids. We've got our own little server going, but also another game that you just kind of jump into and jump back out when you want to stop playing. So I was like, I need another like game to play that like has a story. So Becca, is this emote new? Um, it technically is. So I think Twitch like added more animated emote slots and stuff like that. So like last week or whatever day that was, I went in and like uploaded a bunch of emotes <laughs> that I had on backlog. I do have, like Khan was asking about this earlier. I have a Discord server. However, I haven't like built it out. <laughs> like it's uh, it's just like when you create a Discord server and it has one general chat and one voice chat, literally that's all it has. And I've locked those two channels so you can't even use them anyways. <laughs> um, but it's just for like emotes at the moment so um like when i get around to making it i will uh, advertise it but yeah right now it's just like emotes but yeah i have like so many emotes that are just like in my discord that are not on twitch obviously because that's too many to upload so but yeah I'm, oh i don't even know if there's a boba place close to here i'd literally have to make my own however i don't really like pearls like i like i like taro i like the taro like i like taro why did I say that like three times? <laughs> Taro slush, because it tastes just like Oreos. And I also like green apple slush with like little mango stars. Um, weird, but the smell of it smells like green dish soap. And I absolutely like love that smell. So it doesn't taste like that, but oh, it smells like that. It's yummy. We all want boba now. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Baka. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Junior. That's like the main game I play. Like ever since I picked it up, like however many years ago I literally have done every like rift pass that's come through like all the way to the end and stuff so yeah I just haven't like I think I played it what one time on stream but that's when my like monitors were fucked so it was all choppy definitely want to play it more on stream I just don't play killer and I feel like killer would be more entertaining to watch than survivor gameplay at least but I'm a fucking basic ass bitch survivor main and then if I do play killer I'm playing like an m1 killer like fucking doctor or something like that or skull merchant like stuff that has like a passive kind of power email server yes we will l yes so when because like I said we're gonna get down to van early for the for the thingy I mean we can always all like I want to go to the sushi spot that's right next to like you know, that I was telling you about the last time that you were here. Like, we need to go do that and get that, like, sashimi, um, nigiri set that, like, comes on a lazy Susan. It's yummy. The only boba I have, like, a strawberry milk tea with strawberry boba. That still sounds fire, so. Green dish soap is the best flavor, <laughs> exactly. I barely ever played killer, usually survivor. Yeah, exactly. I just find surviving more fun than killing, to be honest, so. That's just me. Also, the scares are more fun, <laughs> like a ghost face or like a Myers just like standing there like mm, Jasper from fucking Twilight. <laughs> Girl, I'm going to starve myself for like four days <laughs> before I fly over. I mean, we won't have to eat like too bad when you're here. Like we can make food. We can go to the store, make some soup or whatever. Or I'm sure my parents will. I'm sure my parents will make something and then we'll all eat at the dinner table together. Elle, are you going to love that? We're all going to sit together with my mom and dad and you're just going to be there. <laughs> Bro, you're like, no, I'm not ready for that. Just kidding. Just kidding. No, you're good. You're good, girl. Because usually uh, they get like home really late on weekdays. So 
sometimes they're like not even home to make dinner so um plus yeah my uh my sister's having like her well she my sister's baby is due on march 25th but i have a feeling and i'm hoping that she will be born earlier uh it's a girl um hoping my sister just sent me like this little chart and she's like guess the baby like guess like what time and day it's gonna be born at and like how much it's gonna weigh and like its length like i literally had to go search up like average female baby weight and size because like fuck if i know what to guess like i don't know what prize she's doing it's just a little fun game i guess so hi chilla hello hello um but yeah i'm i was a butt and so like oh my god there's an ad one second um so i tweeted about this like last year but my a uh, family dog passed away last year. She had like a just like a fluid in her lungs. It was like a cancer that came on like really fast, like within a week. But she was born on March 28th. So I'm like, you know what? You're due March 25th. But like, I'm going to guess March 28th because I have a feeling that Kita is going to reincarnate into your baby. <laughs> so, uh, so that was my guess at least. But I really hope that the baby is not born on March 28th. <laughs> I was just guessing as a joke. I don't care about winning. Your parents seem so nice and precious. <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah, no, they're, they're like fine. Like my mom's like normal. I mean, my dad's normal too, but like he's also just like, you know, your awkward dad. <laughs> I would guess seven pounds, two ounces and 18 long. What did I guess? I guessed 17 inches long. Cause that was like kind of the average people were guessing. Uh, Cause I got to see other people's guesses. And I said, six pounds five ounces and that she was going to be born on march 28th at 507 in the morning and i say 507 in the morning is because like kita is like well she was like driven by food so she would just like always get up like really early in the morning before her like breakfast like she got fed at like six or she did get fed at like 6 a.m but my sister would always say that like she would just like hear her breathing behind the door, like on behind their bedroom door, like just waiting, like hitting it with her like paw and whatever, being like, let me in. So I think she's gonna be an early one, but I'm super excited. It's the first uh, first baby in our family, like on like in my like immediate family, um, cause I don't plan on having children. So <laughs> I was like, my sister will, my parents will be grandparents. Like my sister is definitely, wanting a child or two of them actually so i'm like i'm good i don't know about my brother so i have no idea if he wants kids or not he's like a gamer kid just like me so <laughs> rude i'm her child she's <laughs> yes you are you are you're mine and kids this child so <laughs> oh, oh my god my chair um but yeah uh yeah, I was gonna say, what else was I gonna say? Sorry, I'm like thinking of everything I need to say right now. Um, oh yeah, if you were like following my Twitter, I posted like a new art style I'm trying out. So I'm, I'm thinking of maybe like making a like Twitch redeem for points because what the fuck can you currently redeem right now? Literally nothing. So <laughs> I want to make like something, find more fun stuff to like redeem with the points. So I was thinking of maybe doing like a point redeem for some simple, for some simple art in that style. I haven't figured out what yet. So <gasps> Sarah, hello, hello, hello. How are you? And yeah, I prefer being a cat or a dog dad. Yeah, I'm gonna be a fur baby. I want an I want another Sheba for sure, so. And I feel like right now would be like, or not like right now, but like, I mean, like anytime really. Um, what gives me Ojo Sarah? Um, I feel like anytime right now would be like a good time to get one just cause like, well, not right now while I live with my parents, but like when I move out, I'll be working from home. Um, cause that was like one of the things that I, hated about having my family dog because my family dog was actually supposed to be mine like i paid actually she was relatively cheap for a purebred shiba she was like 900 dollars, but i paid and that's canadian i paid like 600 and my mom paid 300 and she was supposed to be my dog but because i worked at the time and my sister didn't and i actually like this was pre-covid so like i actually had to go to an office and work i was like never around kita like when she was like younger to like teach her like my sister kind of took that on because she was home all the time so she was like the one training her taking her like she had time in the day to like take her to the vet and stuff so my dog like Kita just kind of like bonded with her more so when 
she moved out. She took her with her, so. But I want a Sheba that loves me because fucking Kita was like literally a cat in a dog's body. Like, just the silliest little gal. Like, I love her. And yeah, I want another one, so. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad for her at all. Especially since I've been looking around like where I live recently and they're like thousands of dollars now, so. And like, breed and like websites I come across for that like breed Shebas, they're also like, I don't know, I guess they're gonna like drill you and like ask you, are you ready to take on a Sheba? So it's nice to be like, okay, well, I grew up with one for like 10 fucking years, so I know like how they act and stuff. My corgi is Merkin, maybe that's where her sass came from. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, I might have to like travel to find one. It doesn't really like, I don't know, I feel like having a Shiba Inu like blew up like from all the doge memes and stuff like that so it's like a bit harder to get them because like I got Kita in like 2011 so like way long ago <laughs> way long ago but I'm going to jump into um stream this game now because I'm excited like yeah like I said I'm no stranger to gacha games I've played a bit of Genshin I've played other ga uh, gacha games I just like don't know how in particular this one works so <laughs> I'm a big fan of Sheebs as well. Yes! I want another, like, just like the normal colored one. I don't know what they're called, like what that color's called, but just like the beigey kind. Like, I don't want a cream one. I don't want, like, a black one. I want, like, I guess red it's considered, I guess you could say. <laughs> they're so cute. I love them. But, okay, let me move everything over. Um, we're gonna have to test the audio because... This game's fucking loud. I was trying to test it beforehand and it, yeah, it was just like very fucking loud. <laughs> Pixel, hello! Whoa, it's a Neo stream, it is! It is, it is. Yeah, we're playing a uh, Honkai Star Rail. I'm just switching over to it right now and pausing my music. Oh God, like I literally haven't even like the optimal server has been selected for you. Wait, why did it put me on Asia? Why, why did it put me on Asia? I'm not in Asia at all. <laughs> I'm literally across the world. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm scared. Okay, yeah, someone tell me how loud this is because yeah, when I was like, yeah. I should have actually checked the settings too so this didn't like be glitchy and stuff. Oh my goodness. L literally, I have not clicked play yet. We might need to download some things. I was scared. I was scared because like some games when you like click play, it just fucking poops you right into the game and like, oh, okay. I didn't want to like, I didn't want that to happen and then miss what was going on. I think Genshin was like that. Like I hit play and it was like, okay, you're in. And I was like, oh shit, I was not ready for this. <laughs> Yes, it's the birthday boy! Pixel's birthday was on the weekend! Happy belated birthday! I wish I took more pictures, I was sad. <laughs> I get so like caught up in like, you know, just mingling and like playing the games and stuff that I just completely forget to take photos. <laughs> volume is good? Okay, yeah, I literally have it in the fucking like app volume at 4 <laughs> this game. Oh, I should have checked the settings again before I went in. Whoops, my bad. Looks kind of laggy. Oh, you completely forgot. It's hard. You need like, I need like a freaking like, I don't know, camera that periodically like takes candid photos on a timer. Someone should make that and put it on an avatar. Oh, also, oh shit. I didn't check what language this is in. It may or may not be in English. It may or may not be in Japanese. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Okay, we're in space. And we are pretending to orchestrate? Nope. What is going on? What the fuck? Why does this remind me of Trigon and um what's this fuck? Millions. Millions knives. <laughs> It's giving millions knives energy. <laughs> like, she's evil, right? That's the only thing I can deduce that that person's evil. <laughs> Seems I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. Okay, it sounds so low for me. Wait. Are we the bad guy? Very punctual, Kappa. 
Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 2344-59 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. I don't know what all these options are. You did that. No. The antimatter legion did it. Kafka. Is she hot? She's not evil? Two system hours ago. Alright. So do we need to fight the legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I might be talking a little less because I am, um, like, you know, it's an English, so I'm just letting the voice actors voice it. Chrono, hello! Kafka is deaf a baddie, but not in the way you mean. Oh, she a baddie. <laughs> what the fuck is that TikTok thing? Oh my god. I love that outfit. Ugh. Oh, I'm excited. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> after all what? After all what? <laughs> after all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? What the fuck is going on? Am I in a battle? What the hell? Oh my goodness, we're just going right in. I'm scared. Okay, use basic attack on a selected enemy. Okay, Q. Okay, okay. Bro, that tickled. Yeah, dude, I love her outfit. Fuck. Select the enemy on your right as a target. Okay, switch to your skill for a stronger attack. Use skill. Oh, yeah, Chrono, this already looking 10 hundred times better than fucking reverse in 1999. Um, not that I didn't want to go Japanese. I forgot to change the, like, in the beginning, I forgot to say it. I forgot to change it. And then Khan, I asked Khan what he played it as, and he said English. And he says the English is pretty good. So I was thinking, okay, maybe... I will test out the English for a bit, at least on stream, because then like it reads it out for me, and then like I'll I'll do Japanese after. Um, hello, floating head. F, who are you? Who's this? Herta. Yeah. Huh. She looks so young. She was already She's famous cute. in the last Ember era. No, she has to be at least a hundred years old. She's oh. a member of the Genius Society and an emanator of new Sphere Edition. She can probably age backwards if she wanted. <laughs> yeah, I seem to recall that over half of the Genius Society's 80 odd members had a normal death. Wasn't there someone who lived for a dozen days or so? What was their name? <laughs> That's pretty. This voice actor doesn't. Doesn't, uh. <laughs> like she wants to be here. <laughs> Immortality is not always a good thing. <laughs> um, why Japanese? Oh, I, I I just like playing, like, I don't know. I'm so used to reading subtitles from watching so much anime and whatever. I just, yeah, I just enjoy the Japanese language. <laughs> and, oh, are you asking him to? Yeah. Yeah, he found the English cringe. <laughs> um, I do kind of want to, like, turn up the volume. How do I do that? Oh, they're already like maxed. Wait, it doesn't. Okay, wait, I might. I don't know. I feel like I want to turn the volume up, but then I feel like it's going to be like too loud. Like, okay, I'm going to try it at a 10 and then see what happens. What is this? Oops. 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 Oh, God. I'll look at that later. Okay. Um, use a fake identity to get past the security check. Are there like things you can loot in this game? I'm a very like explore everything and loot everything kind of person. Ooh, like this. What are you? Papers covered in math lie scattered on the table. Their author seems to have left in a hurry. You don't need any, you don't need any space station journal. Okay. Okay. So those little like stars are like points of interest. I like it personally, it's got a certain charm to it, yeah. 
Fair enough. To be fair, I do play FF14 in English over Japanese. The English uh, VA is charming. I haven't tried Chinese though, and I'm tempted to do it. I mean, it takes nothing to just swap over when for like two seconds, right? So weak. Can I run in this game? Oh, I can. Okay. I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire Legion to come here? This lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express oh. crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here. Kind of want to look at all the portraits. This is Xander. Xander One Kuwabara, the first genius in history. The oh my God, do you know what? Who supposedly created Muse? The fuck yeah, is that? That's him. If the legends are true, then he was a man who created an eon. Well, they better be false. I don't want to be a Xandar hunter. I like whoever is on like the comms right now. She sounds cool. I know this person. Why is her face She's the like... Lord of Silence? Hoka Kakamon. You see? Her face is all blank. She had destroyed all of her own portraits and sculptures in the entire universe. Weird. I'm not interested. Hurry up with I'm interested. I must know the lore. Who are these people? Who's this old guy with a white beard? No idea. A society member? Okay, at first I thought whoever was speaking to me was like some sort of like AI spaceship Who's kind of this? thing, but now it makes me think it's just like a person talking uh, to me. No idea. And she can't do her job properly, apparently. <laughs> hey, Silverwolf, look. It's Screwlum, your good old opponent. Huh? I told you already. I didn't know it was him. Oh, that battle was how Alio got his eyes on you. Imagine someone actually able to crack Skrulem's code. First Skrulem, then Herta. Uh, there's probably no one else in the universe who offended two genii in such quick succession. It must be destiny. Ugh, seems like I'm the real destiny slave here. <laughs> okay, we're going. We're in space. <gasps> we're in my element. Hell yeah, let's go. Okay, okay, uh... Taking out a lone Void Ranger is just a warm up. The enemy is now within the character's attack range. Attack, uh, okay, oh. Do you get like a surprise attack when you, um... Yeah, it kind of looks like it. All characters possess a powerful ultimate which can be used when their energy is full. Fight enemies to regenerate energy, okay, um... <laughs> Where's my energy? Oh, okay. You're at full energy. Activate your ultimate now. Okay, I'm trying. Good times never last. Use ultimate attack all enemies. Time to say bye. Oh my god, it's it's um what's his face from Overwatch? Re the Reaper dude! <laughs> Wait, what? Cleaning up other people's mess isn't in my job description. You know, Kafka? <gasps> Who's this girl? I love her. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? Some random coordinates. Not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed at this fancy technique of yours. Oh gosh, she's so short. Cool. Just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. Fine. I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. Why is this place so empty, though? <laughs> Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. And so that's where the Stellaron is. Cancer of all worlds. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. 
Okay. Oh, she joined my team temporarily. Hell yeah. <gasps> okay. Oh my god, my god. Oh my god, I'm so cute. Oh my goodness. Uh, what is this? You may find lots of readable items on your journey. Uh, do spend some time reading to learn about people's lives and the lore in different worlds. Collected readables can quickly be accessed via the bookshelf function on the phone menu. Um, oh my god, I have like a little Game Boy as my thing. Bookshelf? Oh my god, it's so long. Do I read it? On that day, scholar Cleo from the Candelographos asked me, is there something you would like to write for the universe? I told her there was nothing and she replied solemnly, please just write something. It's a request from the IPC. To be honest, I've never thought about this before. Oh, this is the first, like, Herta is like the girl that we saw in the first thing, right? Uh, the Genius Society has its own rules and rarely ever shares anything with the outside world. Actually, why should we care what happens to the universe? Our research and discoveries make us happy and that's more than enough. Even if the cosmos were to go in a, into an all-out war, we would be able to take care of ourselves with our abilities. However, judging from a different perspective, what harm could it do even if I were to write a book? None of, that I could think of. In fact, I'm not the only one who thought of publishing in the history of the Genius Society. Xandar, member number one of the Genius Society, wrote a book before. Aiden, member number two and inventor of the nine-worded formulae, also wrote a book. To my knowledge, Screwlem, member, member number 76, also wrote a booklet a few amber errors ago to educate its butler on the maintenance of a large computer management system. Besides, the great noose, uh, the great noose, the great noose, the erudition also stored all the information within its body isn't this also a form of writing having thought of all this i know it would uh, not be a bad thing to actually sit down and write a book of my own the ipc sent someone last week to deliver the down payment for the book i was shocked to see the number of zeros on it i began to think seriously about writing first i need to explain the content of this book within its, this preface or, or sorry this preface it will not contain any of my groundbreaking discoveries nor will it have intrinsic math mathematic deductions Though I am famous for the above, I wish to display my true self here. Truth be told, I want to write a book about the universe, aeons, factions, and everything else. I have had more frequent interactions with other worlds in the past Amber eras. I began to work with the IPC, assisted, uh, I don't even know how to say this, Zain, Zainshu, Zainshu, <laughs> in their battle against the abominations. Got my hands on numerous collections from the Astral Express and stirred up some trouble with the Garden of Recollec Recollection. I've been more active recently than I have been ever before. I noticed that the truly interesting things on the universe aren't its cold laws and rules, but the aeons formed of highly condensed philosophy and the foolish conniving humans gathering around the aeons. This is what I want to write. The lonesome gods and their uh, insouciant followers. I hope the readers will find the book satisfying. Thank you, IPC, for your sponsorship. Okay. What's this? Emergency evacuation flashed onto the display and the front house receptionist carried out the instructions. Okay. What's this? How do I read it? Oh my god, this huge. I'm glad you're reading this because I never looked at this stuff until now. <laughs> well, I'm going to read it out. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Okay, older edition. So this is a space station introductory guide written by Madame Herta, currently no longer distributed due to design issues. Welcome to Herta Space Station. Oh my god, it's fucking named after her? What the heck? If your pursuit for the limits of life had extended to the universe itself, or if you question whether the debate about universal truths had truly been settled, if you long to reproduce the initial state of the cosmos, or if you obsess over symbols and scrolls, once again, welcome to the Herta Space Station. Knowledge and answers can be found here within countless unknowns and novelties, and you will wield the Madoc to unearth the answers that you seek. However, in order to immerse yourself in the exciting process, a simple foundational step must be taken, becoming a research staff. If you are, if you who are currently reading this document are only an astronomic hobbyist, we apologize as your exploration of the cosmos has ended when you began your journey. Please cherish your tour at the reception hall. This may be the closest you will get ever get to the uh, you will ever get to knowledge and intellect. Um, new edition, written by lead researcher Asta. The edition currently in circulation on the space station. Welcome to Herta Space Station. The secrets of the universe are a topic to which many scholars have dedicated their entire lives. They are complicated enough that they cannot be fully described in any language, yet so mundane that anyone can spot them in every nook and cranny. Whatever the case may be, the scattered life forms in the universe have jointly crafted a masterwork that is simply known as civilization. 
On the journey to pursue the scattered hints about the universe's nature, we are inevitably drawn to the same guiding scar stars. Uh, charming and enchanting, they have enticed many seekers of knowledge into dedicating their lives just for one glimpse of the truth. The Herta space station is a shaded walkway built along the path lit by those guiding stars. We pick up fra fragments for the lost symphony to reproduce the feast of glorious of a glorious past. We decide past. <laughs> we decipher the essence of unknown technologies to glimpse the dazzling gleam of civilization. Civilization's crystallized wisdom. Okay, wait. I need a sip of my water. Mm -mm -mm. Scholars are boats that sail across the vast cosmos towards the end. The ends of its expanse and the answers silently waiting on the other side are the best motivations for our advance. We hope you will be able to immerse yourself in the alert of the unknown and the thrill of knowledge in the Herta Space Station. Entrance application. Please email us according to the template provided on our official website and we will arrange a time for you to visit us. Due to the number of pending visitors, your request will be responded to within 180 working days. What? Area is open to visitors. Herta Space Station, Space Elevator, Herta Space Station, Reception Hall. Special note. Each person will be allowed to 30 minutes for the tour. Areas involving re oh, 30 minutes. Okay. Herta, have you ever met her? I'm curious about the tastes of someone who used their own name for a space station. I mean, her name kind of sounds like a space Never station. Never seen though. the real one. <laughs> Saw plenty of her portraits, though. Oh, what a pity. I can barely see. It. Oh, she doesn't even appear. Okay. Um, where am I going? I want to look at all the things. Oh! I have a cyber sword. What the hell? Welcome to Herta Space Station. Here you can savor the bounty of the ocean of knowledge. Please also beware the oh, risk this of drowning. Hint is useless. Oh. Who knows what's in the brains of those following the erudition? Look at it. Oh my god. Oh, I can like. Oh my god. Uh, try breaking objects lying in corners or along the path. You may find something useful. Ooh. Ooh, breakables. Where's there more? I need more breakables. Can I break those? Can I break these? Oh my god, how do I even know what I can break? It just lights up like that. Or do they all kind of look like that? I want boba. Maybe I'll go look to see if there's any on get some on Friday or something. Ooh, a chest. Oh my god, treasure. Okay. Treasures are scattered across the world. You may find things of great value by exploring the world and defeating your enemies. Hell yeah. Dude, I fucking love this sword. Not me thinking of like a design for my VTuber that involves having a weapon. <laughs> I just came from here, didn't I? I was today years old when I found out there's a fat burger here. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, I could kill for a chicken tendy right now, honestly. I just finished making my boda. Boba? A oh, boda. <laughs> Boba. What the heck? You just had some laying around? What the hell? <laughs> the central area of the space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. Okay, how do I, like, get the jump on this guy? How do I know if I'm within range? Okay, I did it. I did it. Yay! Oh, they sell boba kits? Oh shit, I have a Costco membership now! Oh, shit! I, sh I should go check when I'm there next. Like, wait, like, all of it? Like, do they have taro flavor? What flavor is your boba? Characters and enemies act in a sequence from the top to the bottom of the action order. Okay. Ultimates are not affected by the action order and can be used in any turn. Okay. Um, okay. Can you let me have some fun this time? Oh my gosh, she's so Stand cute. still. You're at full energy. Okay. After an ultimate becomes available, it can be used immediately. This go, 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 girl. needs optimizing. At this speed, too slow. Oh my god, that is so cute. What the heck? I love this guy. What the heck? Right now it's brown sugar. They had taro like half a year ago. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google to see if the Canadian Costco sells it. Look anywhere in the area to close. Okay. Uh left alt. Press and hold alt. Oh my god, okay. 
Well, I don't think I need to read those. Because they're already telling me. Okay, why am I walking? The fuck? That was a heal, I'm assuming. Hold it. Someone or something is up ahead. How do you know? Oh, they're standing right in front of us. <laughs> Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. Don't worry, it's fine. I, I'll get my ultimate. Well I'm super close. All. Skill points is a combat resource shared by the whole team. Okay. Switch to skill. Consume skill points. Okay. Oh, hers is kind of like an area of effect. That's cool. Skills cannot be used when. Okay. Dude, what the heck? The designs on those are so cool. I love this guy, like the enemy's um, blade. Oh my god, I can Good use times the ultimate. Never last. Time to say bye. Mm. Oh. Shit. It's like a little a frozen packet with here. syrup and boba and straws, microwave Impressive packet. Evacuation oh my god, that's so work. easy. What the heck? Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. The girl who reworked the booklet. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into Herta. It seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. I feel like, um... The Silver Wolf, wolf Girl is, uh, her voice acting is a bit better than this person. Um, I don't exactly... Is it skill point? I must look at all the things. See the whole space station on the surveillance screen, but not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. Okay, not much in this room, I guess. Huh? <laughs> I can't see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. <sighs> Make your way over here then. There's no point in trying to search like this. So wait, we just spooked this whole entire space station for just us two <laughs> joining? <laughs> what? So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Oh god, what's going on? Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. Interact with the curio. Okay, here we go. Huh. What's this? Item number 211, blind spot. A simple light deflecting field. 
It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? Oh shit. What the fuck is going on? <gasps> oh my goodness. It's like I'm on drugs in VR chat and it like makes a little outline around you like at the compound. What the heck? Where are we going? <laughs> Strange thing number two. You added Kahlua, oh my god. Yes, Splash of Bailey's. <laughs> the data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram. How does it, it taste? An added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. Dude, we must be fucking OP, like. Oh my god. What? Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. Ooh, the Stellaround is, is up ahead. Let's hurry. Should I investigate it? It's so pretty. This is Stellaron. What Stellaron hunters throughout the universe all hunt for, but in truth, it's all just a front. Elio knows it, Blade knows it, and you know it too. Stellaron hunters have another true goal. That's why the Stellaron, Stellaron that Herta sealed away will be put to another use. Once Silver Wolf breaks its seal, you'll have to take it and place it inside kind, a kind of vessel that's been waiting just for this occasion. Okay, let's go. It has its own security system. Asian I guess even for Herta, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herta can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> <laughs> Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said it must be you. Want to give her a new name? Miyota. There we go. I'm being created. How much does she remember? Remember you. Time to get up. Damn, what the why is this so sensual? <laughs> what was the way she was holding me? Oh. <laughs> Fudge pops, hello! Hot, right? <laughs> well, apparently I know this girl, so I'm gonna say Kafka. <laughs> Great, so you remember me. Dude, like what was that? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> How are you though, Fudge? Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you God are, you. why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that all like matters. Weird. All you need to know is that I'm leaving, and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but... Wait, they're leaving me? You'll also me? have many wonderful experiences. But I like the you'll solar meet wolf person. companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. I'm good, I'm good. I'm just, uh, I'm playing this game for the first time. So a few friends had, uh, recommended it to me. At the end of me. your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? <laughs> so, Ren, do you like it? <laughs> no, I don't want to. No, I want to know where they're going. The next stop to pave the way for the future that is written, it's like Fuck. weaving brocade. You and I can only add one gold thread each time, but eventually, we will make a gorgeous pattern. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silverwolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. 
Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. Oh, I'm gonna say her name. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that I'm you know scared. you won't regret. Kafka went to go get milk. <laughs> They're leaving me. Do I get to customize my character, or do I look like what I like looked like when I spawned in? Weren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. What? I'm not dying. Uh huh? Uh, I, uh, I've never done it before. Just poke me away. You do it. <sighs> Excuse Wait, me, stop what? It. They're awake. Oh my god. Are you alright? Can you hear me? Do you remember your name? I don't remember Aww, a thing. This isn't good. Can you try harder? Wait, is this sure Herda? You can at least remember your name. My name is Nyota. Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung. And this is March 7th. Never mind, her name is a date. This space station was just attacked what the by fuck? an antimatter legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. The antimatter legion. The destruction. You're lucky the most dangerous Lord Ravager among them isn't around. Just some nasty minions. We'll take those invaders out soon. Don't worry. Can you try harder, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh huh. A petite cutie with pink hair. Madame Herda appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. Oh, I look so sad. That's the master patrol zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express. Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. Don Hong and I are members of the Astral Express crew. Well, the Express has some dealings with Madame Herta. So we come to visit the space station from time to time. We just so happened to arrive during this invasion of course as a <clears throat> crew of heroes we're happy to lend a hand they don't know i'm evil wait a minute her name is tomorrow dude that is creepy what if what if i fucking played this game tomorrow fudge like literally um like yeah it's my first time playing the game obviously but I was gonna like I'm streaming today and I plan to stream tomorrow, but I didn't know what game I was gonna stream today. It was either gonna be Honkai Star Rail or Control. Oh my god, I feel like I should have Oh, what if I stream this tomorrow? Yeah, what happens on March 7th? Do you get free stuff? Do you also play this fudge? Yeah. You I keep hearing dong. <laughs> the express comes here every I'll once in a while. Again. It's a unique train that can travel between the stars. With the power of the trailblaze even. Oh, is that what's on the title screen? I'll show you once we're back to the master control zone. You know what's funny? They just completely trust that I belong on this ship and not that I'm like a planted spy or you something. And March go back together. Our land from the security department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to find him first. You play too much. Wait, that's a good sign though, because that means it's good. Oh, all right. <laughs> Some music. Hmm. Maybe you should bring this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a what pack that? of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Just a suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. Hmm. Ooh. Open the character menu to view character information. Okay, detailed information about characters can be viewed in the character screen. Each character has their own type. Nyota is a physical type character. Each character is their, has their own path. Nyota is a character that follows the path of destruction. They know my gremlin. Select March 7th. Characters come in different types and follow different paths. Learn about each character in the detailed screen. God, I'm not reading all that. 
light cone. I don't know what this is. I'm just clicking things. Okay. Wait, do they have like lore behind them? Can I read about them? What is this? Oh, I love the way that like you can flip between the characters. It looks so cute. Oh my goodness. Information. A girl who boarded the Astral Express. They chose to travel with the Astral Express to eliminate the dangers posed by the Stellaron. A girl who once slumbered in eternal ice and knows nothing about her past. To find out the truth about her origins, she decided to travel with the Astral Express. Uh, as of right now, she has prepared about 67 different versions of her life story for herself. Oh, wait, this is different. Oh. Oh, you get to know more about them. A spirited and quirky young girl who is into all things girls her age are interested in. But pfft, how old is she? <laughs> so just taking photos. She was awakened from a piece of drifting eternal ice, only to find that she knows nothing about herself or past. Though initially feeling dejected, she decided to name herself after the date of her rebirth. And thus, on that day, March 7th was born. Okay, simple. And we know nothing about us. Uh, yeah, never heard about this game until- You think- You have not heard about this game? What? I mean, I've definitely heard about it, but also, like, I follow a lot of VTubers and a lot of them also play this game, so. Uh, when they let you add friends, I will send- Yeah, yeah, I need to add everyone that plays. <laughs> Bitcoin, hello, hello! Hello, cool people, as a cool person shows up. Yes, Wednesday is treating me lovely. Actually, I didn't even realize we're like fucking halfway through the week already. Like, what the hell? Wait, what is this? Item number, crack up conch. The conch, is, uh, conch makes a strange sound. It's unlike laughter, but nevertheless quite humorous. Why is this so close to it? I don't like that. An after effect. Uh, of the legions of agents have not been completely removed. Not all curios in the space station are displayed here. Okay. Why do some have ones in front of it? Uh, Joyce filtration set. The portable device inside the cube can be used to identify and collect Joyce emotions. Um, every living being should own a complete joy filtration set. No one can ever have too much joy. This place is full of uh, raiding pistol. Oh, this is the thing. This weapon raids creatures on sight using unknown scoring logic. A closed eye. The closed eye of this weird little gun suddenly snaps open as it swirls around for a moment, staring at you with malice. The raiding pistol gazed at Neota. 84 points out of 100? Hell yeah. Is it basing things on height? Don't think so. Oh my god, no. I'd be raided so low in real life. Enough dilly dallying. We gotta go. No, I'm raiding a curio that has just been contained by the Department of Implement implement arts. Even its arch archival information is not yet available. Oh, we read this already. Or are they just the same thing? Oh, total eclipse of the heart. This is a device used to decompose rubbish from the space station. Those sensitive to odors may need to hold their breath. Oh, okay. Where did I come from? Can I break things? Okay. Uh, what are you? Oh, okay, a little... Little healing... unit? <laughs> I'm looking at things to explore. Uh, oh, and Jedi, hello! I'm cool, all shucks. Thanks, you are. You are Bitcoin. Oh, posture check, okay, and then I will hydrate. I got water. Yeah, stop living in a different part of the world, Con. Tisk tisk. I'm still confused why it like suggested Asia when it's like we picked the most optimal one for you. And it's Asia. Sorry, I'm like a chronic like explorer. Like I will I need to explore like every single thing everywhere. Like, what are you? Curio management log. Quick read. How do I quick read it? G? No. No. Oops. What did I just get? Uh. I'ma read it. Sorry. Well, I'm sorry. You should be. <laughs> You hydrate with pizza? Oh, I want pizza. Okay, I'm reading it. Okay, let's see. This is the curio management log. Wait. 
it says it is it's written by the lead researcher here it's made public at the stations okay so let's see profile 21 astro rod remarks only as a collection item research application is uh, forbidden curio profile a tool invented by herda researchers to explore the geological structure of alien planets mainly made of the 108th elemental metal from a deceased planet its body emits a glowing blue radiance appearing as if the user is holding nothing a sensor at the end points to where the user came from and guides them on the way back no matter how hard the geological structure of the planet is just gently insert the astro rod that's us into the surface of the planet and can analyze a great deal of geological data it is a sacred object in the eyes of those researchers who are fascinated with the study of planetology related studies okay look they're referencing what is this the uh, researcher notes the astro rod i've heard of it even before stepping foot in the space station and now i can finally see it in physical form an astro rod is said to be the gift that best represents someone's love an astro rod can point her in the direction she de desires and tell her my feeling for feelings for her don't think i don't i don't know what you're up to okay light of the stars uh the curio has been damaged during the invasion of antimatter legion do not submit research applications a tiny pristine and well-decorated box the container itself is clean and flawless and it has nine mini drawers on each of its four faces not including the top and bottom faces within each drawer is a luminescent crystal that corresponds to a color on, on the starlight spectrum currently only contains part part of its original pieces as the curio is yet to be fully restored I'm so upset. Only two studies before it's my turn and the Legion destroyed it. <laughs> Why does the Department of Insight like studying this thing so much? For all I care, you are the reason that is defunct. <laughs> okay, crack up conch. Do not expose to water. A polished conch covered in a pattern of planetary rings. Hold it to your ear to hear distant jokes told in the conch. What the heck? As long as you can hold back from laughing, you can slowly obtain the power offered by being within the conch. Those who try to gain power in this way will eventually die in a depression of unmatched intensity. Legend says three previous users are still alive and living in seclusion. Well, you know, they should go get that joy box thing, but whatever that was. <laughs> Due to an outdated research data, the crack-up conch will be rec reconditioned in the near future. All related papers are currently disabled. Please stay tuned. Researcher notes. Thank you, magical conch. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't know what to do when I feel down. What is wrong with this thing? Why does it keep trash-dogging me? My blood pressure is through the roof. Just how is it de-stressing? <laughs> Let's change its name and call it the crack-up conch corrupted at lead researcher Asta. When will this be updated? <laughs> Why does this sound like, like, work? Oh, wait. What was this up here? My birthday. Oh, okay. Do I get anything on my birthday? Yes. August 20th. Yes. Ooh, do I just put them in here? Yeah, we'll put me first. I don't know what this means, but I will display things. I'm assuming this is like my little... My little card. My little thing that people see when they add me. Me dipping my your who in what now? What the fuck is a kook? What? I can't stop with RE4. Don't stop. It looks fucking fun as shit. Uh, it's the antimatter legion. So these oh, how you get into combat? Okay. What can I do? What can I do? Okay. Oh, she's got a bow. Okay. The type end icon indicates the enemy's weakness type. The white bar below the weakness types indicates the enemy's toughness. Using attacks of the same type as the enemy's weakness types will reduce the enemy's toughness. Select the enemy. Okay. This attack can deplete the enemy's toughness to zero. Ooh, she's cool. I love bows. Use ice attacks to inflict weakness break, causing enemies to freeze. Okay. What are they weak to? I'm physical, so I could probably pick this guy up too. Hell yeah. Ooh, I can use a skill though. You have the worst luck running into me. Oh, her skill is defense. Okay, I'm gonna attack someone else, and then Let's I'm gonna see quick. what. Yeah, I want to use hers. Okay. <laughs> Please tell me that I can use different weapons as like the main chick, or do I always use this bat? Because no offense, the bat's kind of lame. <laughs> oh, your cucumbers and salt! Oh my goodness, guys, L on the weekend. 
um, quite the fighter. she was gonna go eat cucumbers and like a bunch of us were like yo you need to like put salt on them like sprinkle a bit of salt and she's like i've never had salt on it and we're like what the heck you need to like enhance cucumbers with like a little bit of salt on them are so good the first three are available for friends or others to use during some battles the other six are just for display okay okay well i only have two so and i have no friends so it doesn't matter <laughs> Oh, well, the tale of my weekend munchies, yeah. Yeah, a little disappointed with the basic beaten stick. Same. You'll encounter all kinds of enemies, okay. Uh, before using abilities, the expected toughness reduction will be displayed. Okay. I don't know if I, like, missed a tutorial on accident. Oh, my God. Okay, well. I get the point, so I think this is just telling me, like, what happens. So I'm not going to read all those. Okay, so it tells me to go there, so we're gonna go everywhere but there. <laughs> it's just how I operate. And so she snack drunk aft with her salty cucumbers. I also got cucumbers uh, yesterday for dinner. You do not have access. Okay. Well, make me go the way that I'm supposed to go. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. Can you jump? You not jump in this game? <gasps> I wanna jump, what the fuck? Ooh, what's that? Like, why does it look corrupted? Sorry, my so like we'll cursor's just like on the very middle of the screen. <laughs> to go down to the master control zone. Do you know the way? Bro, I just um, got here. I noticed that you're not wearing the space station no. staff uniform. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> I'm gonna say I don't remember. Loss, huh? Oh, she can relate though. She can relate. We can manipulate her, guys. We can manipulate her. She also, we know that she woke up from ice and she has no memories either. So, you know, we're relating. We're relating. Side quest rejected by log door. No. I can go there maybe later. I don't know. Now you can't, unfortunately. Never mind. I won't ask if you don't want to talk about it. Let's go. I'll take you to the safe zone. Wait, can I get... The oh, never mind. Can I get there with her, though? Can I go back and... My clearance with her should be good, right? Right? <clears throat> never mind. <laughs> I thought I could bypass it, guys. I thought I could. I want to jump. I want to jump so bad. Wait, no, these I just opened. I see you, I see you. The enemy's weakness type can be viewed out uh, for approaching them. Entering the battle with an attack that matches. Hell yeah, that's exactly what I was going to do. Hmm. Oh no, why are you locking onto me? Neota is locked on by the enemy and it will have to be attacked first. March 7th falls by and can protect allies. Okay. With me out here, how can we lose? Oh my god, that is so cute. Let's make it quick. Shield will be displayed. Um, okay. When a character takes damage, the shield effect will be reduced first. Okay. Try that again. Oh. She just like attacked on her own. Just a scratch. You can't run. Wait, why are they like attacking without even me like doing you anything? Have the worst luck running into me. Um. Watch this. Is it like some reaction kind of like? Maybe. Oh, this thing's tanky. Oh, I could use my ultimate. I'm gonna use it. I wanna see what it is. No way. So you're telling me we do have a bat? Because there's no way they did this ultimate animation for just a starting weapon. Well, as the path of disruption. Neo's ultimate offers two powerful attack modes the single target mode and the multi target mode. Whoa. Yeah. Home run, guys. Home run. <laughs> it's March's talent. Her passive. Okay. Okay. You couldn't have I assume. Done it without me. Literally couldn't have girl. Your shield, like, they didn't even hit me. 
Um, shield can take damage. Okay. Oh, it just like... Okay, well we literally just recovered. Okay, wait, what is this? Approach to automatically restore... Okay. This just kind of does it for us. Um... I must explore. Huh? Finders keepers. I want to fight them. I wonder if they give me a voice. Uh, I knew it. It worked. Nah, I think the elevator's broken. I pressed all the buttons, but nothing happened. Okay. Uh, too bad Don Hung's not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. Maybe even elevator repair. Well, why did he why didn't he stay behind I don't with know me then? That one. Oh, never mind, he's here. Whoa! <sighs> why are you here? And how did you get here before us? What do you mean we got here first? <laughs> oh my god, darkness, <laughs> you're all your emo. <laughs> Karina, hello! Fresh meat for the star rail. Yep, I'm aboard. Here we go. I took another route to the upper level, and I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. Also He's been injured, welcome. but not fatally. You found him. Will he know what to do about this elevator? Literally just told you he was injured. All right, she's not going to ask if he's okay. Should know. Then let's go talk to him. Okay, girl. <laughs> oh shit, we got him! Hell yeah! Change your team lineup to meet different kinds of challenges. Click anywhere on the. Open the team setup to adjust your composition. Add a character. Add Don Home. March. Add Stay with the group. Ooh, and he's a windy Don't type. Okay. Choo-choo! First off obsession! I'm excited! We got another one! I went so hard in this game when it came out. Yeah, I'm excited. I Like, yeah, I played a bit of Genshin, but it, like, didn't grab me in. But friends say otherwise that this game is, like, uh, a lot better, so... <laughs> I'm excited. Oh. Select mater character XP materials. Okay. Increase character level. Oh, whoa, well, he just like went to level four. What the fuck? Click anywhere. Okay. Why did I only need to like do one of them? Or like all these three things can level them and different. I'm assuming the purple one gives more XP than this one. Do they all have their own specific things that level them up? Okay, no, they all use the same thing to level them up. Okay. Never mind. I oops, wrong one. Okay. I do want to read about him. How do I get his info? A cold and reserved young man who is reticent about his past. To avoid his kin, he decided to travel with the Okay, okay. What does he say? A cold and reserved young man who wields a spear known as the Cloud Piercer. He acts as an as the express's guard on its long trail basing trail basing expedition. Uh, Don Hung never talks much about his past. In fact, he joined the Express crew to escape from a past of his own, his own making. But can the Express really help him outrun his past? Yeah, Genshin didn't grab me either. Yeah. I still go hard on this game. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yes. Wait, really? And you also play it? If you do, you gotta add? Hmm. Maybe I'll just like... Wait, no, I don't really want to tweet out my friend code. How do I... How do I like do my friend code? Or find that, I guess. I guess the gameplay of this game just feels better with me. The only thing I've got going for me, uh, Khan, is my first fighter unit. <laughs> e, I can't wait to like learn how to summon things. Okay. Oh my god, I'm sorry. We have like so many things up here. Okay. Uh, a space anchor, which is the healy thing. How to use my cursor. My little phone. Oh, I got an achievement. Oh, and I get things. Is this the stuff that uses to summon? Yeah, I feel like that's what you use to summon things, don't you? Wait, how do I find... Okay. Is it this? UUID? 
Here, I'm gonna put it in the chat. Who's ever playing right now, if that's it, and you're on the America server, uh, go ahead and add me. <laughs> um, where are we going? A room must have unlocked, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay, click. Oh, a special ability that can help with exploration. Technique is a special ability used for exploration. Use March 7th technique to gain an edge in combat. Okay. Oh, she just like went for it. Okay. Uh, my friend uh, was telling me Sparkle is like on a banner right now or something, and that like I could pull her, but I don't remember which she looks like. <laughs> I don't know. I've had friends send me like some videos of trailers of characters, but I don't remember all their names yet. Mommy? Or is it actually called that or you're just dubbing her mommy? Okay. March 7th technique can randomly freeze an enemy when the battle starts. Oh sick. Oh, now we got this guy. Okay. And he's good against Don't this hesitate. Dude. The time is now. Oh my god, this one's fucking tanky. Um Wait, her ultimate's up. I want to use it. I haven't seen it. Check out this awesome move. Oh my god, they're little bunnies. What is that? That's adorable. Watch this. Um, better up. You better not be able to attack. Except he will. Okay. Clemency. Never. <gasps> nice. <gasps> How dare you hurt me? I told you I could fight. With me out here, how can we lose? Does this shield persist like into the next battle as well? Oh my god, this thing is so fucking tanky. Oh, never mind, it's dead. Let's make it quick. Take this. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Dubbing her mom, yeah. Okay, I'll add you. Oh my god, wait, you're downloading it too, Raylene? What the heck? <laughs> you haven't played either. Oh, Kafka, okay. I got her. I'm so happy. She does. Dude, did you... she was holding me so closely in the beginning when she like spawned me in like she was like holding my back so tenderly and then she just shoved the stellarachrum or whatever into my body <laughs> shields go away after a few turns oh damn okay so no point in putting a shield on at like the very end of the battle okay i see i see sparkle is the one i've seen all over tiktok okay yeah i need to like go watch what it is I'm trying to get Kafka's banner, but keep missing it. Oh, hey, you're all playing together. it up and on. Okay. Oh, it's Arlen. Yep, we're from the Astral Express. I'm getting a lot of like PSO vibes from this Arlen guy. I don't Did know Madame why. Did send you to help? Uh, it's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. We didn't expect to arrive during an invasion. Oh, also, I hope the volume is okay, because, yeah, I had turned up the volume, so... Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. I... have no idea. The Legion came at a very suspicious time, almost right after the security system suddenly failed. Dude sounded like Black Star from fucking Soul Eater. It's <laughs> like the English dub. <laughs> There are a few more mommies now. Ooh, I'm excited to see all of them. March pairs up really well with a five star unit and I heard about Black- I want to see. I need to look- are there a lot of characters out? When did this game come out anyways? Lady- Lead researcher Asta immediately began to organize the evacuation. I was supposed to cover everyone as they evacuated, but I didn't expect to end up failing in this task. <laughs> Holy fuck, I hear that. Oh, that it sounds like Black Star, yeah, which sucks because I fucking hate the English dub. Uh, I don't hate the English dub, but I do not like Black Star's voice. <laughs> last year, okay. Like late last year or like like early, like early 2023? Don't be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. Okay, damn it, I'm so far behind. a decision to hide here and avoid a head-on encounter with the Legion. Yeah, most of the staff have been evacuated safely, 
So right now, our highest priority is to return to the Master Control Zone and plan a counterattack. So, do you know how to use the elevator? I couldn't start it. After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the Legion away from the Master Control Zone. Makes sense. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must have given you the encryption key for accessing the elevator system? Oh, right. She did End of give April, me some okay. sort of card. Oh, shit. Fudge, thank you for that song. What the heck? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> March. Okay, side note, March is a pretty cute name. Like, if we're not calling her March 7th. <laughs> We found the key. We should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock the elevator. No, I must explore everything. The screen seems to be used to monitor unique blind spots. Nothing abnormal is showing up. Okay. I checked everything. I must go to raid, but I sent friend request. Oh yes, yes. Okay, I'll Let's accept go. it after. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. We'll have to go there to use it. Wow, making me walk. Sorry. Okay. The space station was entrusted to Lady Asta by Madame Herda. I must do this for the safety of the master control zone and the staff there. Okay, we're literally being attacked. I don't think I have like the grounds to complain about walking so a few extra steps. You to take a bit of a detour. Sincerest apologies. Uh huh. You're not coming with us. My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and shut down the elevator once you've made it to the master control zone. You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the master control zone. Right? Agreed. She and I made it here safely. And now we've also got Don Hung. We're more than enough to protect you. Let us worry about the antimatter legion. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. You can use me as a crutch. <laughs> Trust us. Trust us. Okay. Level up traces to comprehensively enhance your character. Oh god, okay. Uh, let's open it up. Enter the traces screen and choose... Should I do it for this person? Is it just doing it because I have this person selected? Okay, I don't have to do it yet. Activate the traces to strengthen the character. Uh, should I do it on this character? Or like, my main character? Like... <laughs> My ex absolutely despised March. I feel like she's ditzy. She's kind of cute. <laughs> March grew on me, yeah. Over time, I didn't mind uh, March as much, but mainly hated her name. Oh, I think it's cute. I mean, March 7th sounds stupid, but March, like, sounds kind of cute. Can't wait for Weathering Waves to come out. Oh. Boost MC. Okay. I will do it one time. Okay, wait. How do I... I want to go accept my friend request. Uh, where the fuck do I go to go see my friend? <laughs> do I have friends unlocked yet? Um... Okay. That's not what I wanted. Oh, they're not available yet? Okay. Damn it. Okay, where am I going? Wait a minute. What's over here? Why won't it let me get to it? <gasps> What's over there? I must. Let me. Sag. Oops. Oh. I had no time to react. It was coming towards me. It's too late to repent. I feel like that's something they would add. Maybe. My turn. <sighs> Let's go. Take this. Damn. Yes. Okay. You gotta get through this tutorial. Okay. Not allowed me. to touch. The I wanted to touch the shiny though. What the heck? 
Okay. It's telling me to go up there, so we're gonna go everywhere else. And hopefully we can. Unless it says access denied again. Yeah. Fuck. Damn it. Wait, how do, how do I check it again? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to check what their weakness was, but like... Okay. Didn't realize they would like, come, like, catch on to me. Um, he only has single target ones. Huh? You have the worst luck running oh, into me. I'm gonna try it. Death, revealed in an instant. Oh wait, it's single target. I just wasted it on him. That's pretty epic though. That's pretty e I should have used it on the one guy over there. I'm an idiot. Um Let's make it quick. Okay. Okay, so there is like fall off damage, I guess. Like, so if I select one target, it'll do less damage to the ones next to it if Let it's like an AoE. Never heard of it. Um, if not, make it make it you rear being a council over my. <laughs> I don't mind. Yeah, maybe. At the top, it shows a weakness under the name. Okay. Oh yeah, I meant like um before we like start the battle, I guess. Um, Take this. It was telling me that I could like be it before I like get the jump on them, I guess. Sorry, I'm like all over the Step place in words. Speaking is hard. My turn. Oh, it was. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, because he had like the little question mark on his head and I was like, what the fuck? I have like no time to like... This, yeah. Okay, wait. I'll look again uh, when I see another one. <gasps> lore. Lore. How do I quick read, by the way? Like, it, I see it pops up on the side and says quick read, but like, I have no idea. What is this? No, don't show me that yet. What did I grab? Ooh, a manuscript, I think. This one. Okay. Oh my god, this is a huge read. No idea, never looked. Okay, wait, I'm gonna... It is a lot of words. I don't know if I want to read all this right now. I was reading all the other ones, but none of them were, like, this large. Fine, I'm gonna do it. I read pretty quickly. We'll learn. Okay. Intelligentsia guide. Okay. The universe is vast without bonds and erudition encompasses countless. Uh, geniuses have their own ways with words as the ordinaries have their own self-satisfactions. Aside from the genius...